How do you make the world's best-selling hybrid even better? Make it smaller, make it bigger. Well, Toyota has already done that with the Prius C and the Prius V. So what now? Well, how about increasing the EV-only driving range by making it a plug-in hybrid? Sounds like a good idea to us, and Toyota agrees. So let's find out if plugging in does indeed make for a better Prius. As the most popular hybrid car by far, the Toyota Prius hatchback needs little help in appealing to American buyers. But over the last year, Toyota has been expanding the Prius brand, the latest of which is this 2012 Prius plug-in hybrid. How does this PHEV differ from the standard Prius? Well, very little actually, but in one important area. Due to the plug-in nature, which includes a new onboard battery charging system and larger now lithium-ion battery pack, it provides an EV mode range of up to 15 miles, or about 10 times the standard Prius. That doesn't sound like a lot, but if your commute fits into that range, you won't be burning much gas at all on your way to work. Mind you, the gas engine still kicks in under heavy demand. Still, we managed 12 EV mode miles on more than one occasion. Once you've drained the battery, it operates like a standard Prius. You won't be able to use the EV mode again until you plug in and recharge the battery, which takes a short three hours to fully charge on standard 110-120 volt current. So how does all this translate into government fuel economy ratings? Well, combined mileage is close to twice the standard Prius at 95 MPG equivalent, but that's assuming a short trip. Using gas only, it rates 50 combined, the same as the standard Prius. We did several commuter legs and saw a still impressive 80 miles per gallon result with the radio and AC both blasting away. Energy impact scores are great as you would expect, consuming just 4.7 barrels of oil per year with annual CO2 emissions of just 2.2 tons. Operation of the plug-in is simple enough as there's nothing to turn on or engage. The car automatically defaults to EV mode whenever you start out, providing the battery is fully charged. On the exterior, the plug-in gets a few changes to set it apart enough to be noticed by keen green observers. There's chrome trim on the grille and door handles, unique badging, blue accented headlights, LED daytime running lights, and LED taillights. 15-inch alloy wheels are also unique, and of course, there's a new right rear fender charging port, which also is LED lit for plugging in after dark. Navigation is standard on the plug-in, as is a backup camera, though it doesn't have lane markings like a lot of newer cameras. An available advanced package includes a head-up display, leather-like Softex upholstery, eight-way power driver's seat, dynamic radar cruise control, and full LED headlights. Otherwise, the interior is standard Prius fare, which means there's decent room for five, but it also still has the same less than stellar overly hard seat cushions. Better than the original Prius, but still not really comfy for long trips. Under the hood is the same 1.8 liter I-4 with 98 horsepower and 105 pound-feet of torque. Working with a hybrid Synergy Drive, total output is 134 horsepower. We were out of EV only range by the time we made it to our test track, but the plug-in still managed a zero to 60 time of 10.7 seconds. The quarter mile took a full 18 seconds and we made it at 80 miles per hour. Slow, but reasonable for any fuel stingy model. Pricing for the Prius plug-in starts at $32,760. It's difficult to make a direct price comparison to the standard Prius as the plug-in has features that don't quite line up with any one trim level, but we figure you're paying around six grand for the PHEV system, although some of that can be recouped through federal and local tax incentives. And like the Chevy Volt and Nissan Leaf, the Prius plug-in hybrid is eligible for California's HOV lanes. Plus, driving a PHEV is sort of cool. The 2012 Toyota Prius plug-in hybrid is indeed a welcomed addition to the Prius family, one that increases the potential of what a hybrid can offer us. Quite simply, it uses even less gas. 
Now that's the kind of car we're all looking for a few more of.